guys, how are you? My name is Sarah. This is my YouTube channel, Stitching by Sarah. This is a channel about my big old addiction, as you can see behind me, called Cross Stitch. Um, I want to say hi to all my new subscribers. I've had a little bit of a bump in new subscribers uh, the last couple of weeks. And as I go back and look and see what videos you all been watching, looks like a lot of you are coming to me um, from my video on how I, the little tutorial I did on how I keep my, uh, my backs neat. So I want to say hi, and I want to say a big old hi to all my returning subscribers and viewers. Um, I want to, without you guys, it's been here for a long time, it's, this wouldn't be going on. So it's, I think it's been about a month since I've seen you. Um, I've got a bunch to show you. Not a lot of cross stitch. Um, I've got a lot of goodies that I've gotten. And I do have the winners of the uh, of the giveaway from last time. So let me just go ahead and do the giveaway winners. Um, if you, there are a couple here that are new to my channel. I don't recognize the, um, the um, your channel name. If you are, new winner to me, um, send me an email at stitching.by.sarah at gmail.com. Usually I skewed that up, so I got it right this time. Um, with your real name, your mailing address, um, and let me know what your channel name is. Uh, if you have one here before, I do keep your email that you send to me with your email address, and I look it up. Um, if you're not sure if you've won here before, by all means, send me an email and say, hey, I don't remember. Here's my my mailing address. So um, first, for number one, there were two copies of um, Whip It Good. So winner of one is Roxanne Green, uh, 5722. And the other is Forest City Stitching. Number two, there were two copies of um, Cross Stitch Nation. Um, one of them goes to Kit Mar, 1667. And the other one goes to Witch Stitch PS. Number three was Equality Sampler. And the winner of this is Stitches of Sass. Sass. Number four was um, a Stitcher's Garden Coat, and this is Tamara Pierce 237. And the last one is Sprout Love by Sambri Stitches, and this goes to Pat Hansen uh, 4386. So, as I said, um, if you heard your name and you do not know if you've uh, won from me before, Send me an email with your um, your channel name, your real name, and then your mailing address, and I will I will try to get them all out this week. All right, I have another finish, so this makes number two of the year. Oh, right. so this puts me down to sixty four whips. I was watching, uh, I was actually watching uh, floss tube videos for the first time in a very long time. Um, earlier this week and I think it was Needleberry Stitches. I think that's her channel name. Um, she said she had 90 some whips. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't feel so bad. So 60 some, I don't feel so bad. So this is um, Shepherd's Bush. It's heart. It's a, um, you stitch on a project bag. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is the finished product. As you can see, I've got my magnet board in here. So I'm actually using it as the background. So this is what it looks like stitched on the bag. Isn't that pretty cool? So I've got a take that out and start using it as a project bag. I have one or two more of these. Um, I'll kit it up and ready to go. I have, I don't know if you can see, 
down here, right, right here. This is all stuff that's kitted up. But I'm not gonna start anything new until I get a bunch of these whips done. All right, so let me find my board. My board is right here. Um, for my first whip, or um, if you are new to cross stitch, uh, floss tube, you don't know what a whip is, it's a work in progress. My first work in progress that I have to show you is a uh, winter ride. It's a dimensions kit. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it's at now. I worked over here in the tree. I did quite a bit. So that's, um, I'm using the kit fabric and I'm using the kit floss. I think the fabric is is it 16 count? Nope, it's 14 count white Ada. So that is where I worked down in here. And that's what it looks like so far. I'm about halfway done, I think. But a lot of it, as you can see on the pattern, a lot of it is from the halfway, the halfway point and down. Up here, there was nothing that I had to do up in there. So I still have a long ways to go. All right. And my next whip is um, Home is Where the Wreath Is. I think I took this on my cruise, but I don't think I worked on it at all during my cruise. Anyways, this is where it was last time you guys saw it. I was working on the letter M. And that's where it's at now. I think I did quite a bit since the last time you guys saw it. I think the last time you guys saw it was in here somewhere. So we're getting there. I have the H done. And um, not quite half of the um, fabric is, um, I'm going to say... 16 count slate by Be Stitch Me, and I am using Classic Color Works. Mm, nope, Color and Cotton Bamboo. All right, so that's where my M is. Oops, that doesn't go in there. I went to put my board in there. My next is the Philanthropic Pumpkin by Hands On Design. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it's at now. I believe all I did was all this orange. There's a bunch of counting involved and um, a single stitch here and a single stitch there. So the fabric is whatever came with the kit. Let me see if it says, looks like a 32, but I'm not positive. 32 Antique White Belfast, and it's got DMCs. That's the floss. And it's all the called for floss. And the kit comes with all the items to finish it. This was a special release last year, the year before. Um, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it went, the proceeds went to the Special Olympics because uh, she has a son that um, is in the Special Olympics. So, I don't want to lose that. So this is, again, where it was last time. Or where I, where I'm at now. Mm. All right. So, um, most of these projects that you're seeing, uh, most of my whips are um, items that I just worked on in the last two days or so. Um, I've done quite a bit of stitching the last couple of days. All right, I needed to do a, a pretty lady, so I pulled out uh, Mirabilia's Red. 
this is where she was last time you guys saw her. And this is where she's at now. Fabric is 28 count vintage smoky white cashel linen. And I'm using all the called for floss. Um, they're DMCs and Karen Water Lilies. Uh, there's going to be all those little spots in there are beads in case you haven't seen her before. I did quite a bit. I did this here. I did a bunch over here and I did this. I just did her yesterday. I had big old runs of the same color here and here. So I was on a roll. Um, so let me pull it back here. This is... I've got quite a ways to go on it yet. All right. And my last whip is... So last night I came in here and, and I thought, what am I going to stitch on? Let me pull out a bag. And I pulled out, I pulled out my bag and I'm like, I don't remember what's in here. There's a reason I haven't worked on it since I started it back in the insanity that I called January Start Palooza last year. So this is, um, what's it called? Tractor? Yeah, Tractor. This is uh, Design Works. It's one of those kit. And note all what we call confetti. If you're new to cross stitch um, or you're new to patterns that's like this, confetti is where you change your, you know, there's a lot of different colors. This is very confetti heavy and I'm, I'm right up in here. So this is where it was last time you guys saw it. And as you can see there, I did not have much done. And this is where ma, where I'm at now. It doesn't look like much, but as I said, there was a lot of what you call confetti stitches. So I had to go all over the place trying to get those stitches in. Fabric is 14 count white Ada. Uh, look at all those different colors in that area. So I am far from done on this one. All right, so I believe that is all of my stitching that I've done in the last month since I've seen you, and most of it was the uh, last couple of days. I have quite a few items to add to my collection, as you can see here. Um, I have two of my floss clubs came in. I have um, my just cross stitched magazine. I only bought one thing this whole time, and then dear friend Heather sent me a bunch of stuff. So let me start with my coloring cotton floss of the month this is the january i get the five colors um all colors five skeins so we have natural cotton abyss isn't that pretty you're not that's not getting that color very well there you go uh, merlot coffee bean and this is almond latte and then I have um, through fireside stitchery I get their um, bell Soie floss club and their uh, gentle art gentle art sampler threads so this is all of the gentle arts um evergreen looks very green blue spruce it's you can see it's green there dark green avocado pine old covered bridge well, that's an interesting one this is called tiger lily This is green fern, no, silver fern, sorry. Mistletoe. Grasshopper. Sea spray. And the last is dried thyme. 
And then I am in the Bell Swaw Club. I love, I love Bell Swaw. It's so soft. So this is all the colors. I have uh, Chester's Blue, Cream de Mint, Fern Frond, Elegant Eggplant, this is pretty. This is fresh raspberries. That's a pretty color. Cinnamon stick. Collard green. Baguette. Carrot cake. Who doesn't love carrot cake? Attic tea. And butterscotch. So that's all my floss clubs of the month that have come. I just crossed it. I must admit that I just opened all of these, you know, sitting here getting ready for the video. Um, so that was the first time really seeing them and first time seeing this magazine. So this is the Just uh, just Cross Stitch magazine, um, April 22, 24 version. And let me show you the last page. See, ooh. Oh, that one right there, I gotta do. I like stargazers. They're not purple, but I love stargazers. But these are the patterns that are in this magazine in the event that you don't get this magazine and you see something that catches you out your eye, you can see if you can find the magazine. Definitely need to do that stargazers. Oh, and that's, that mountain scene right there is really pretty too. It reminds me of back home in Pennsylvania along the Susquehanna River. All right, so the one thing that I did buy, a cousin of mine was um, selling some patterns on, um, on D-Stash on Facebook and she sent me a text saying, hey, I'm selling a Marabilia. Um, are you interested? And I, I looked and I didn't have it. So I said, yes, please. So she sent me, this is called Christmas Wishes. Isn't that pretty? If I ever get grandchildren, I'll make that. And then my dear friend, Heather, you are so sweet. Um, she sent me a bunch of stuff. I knew she was going to be sending me um, this Princess Alana, Eliana. I knew she was going to send that. She sent me the beads to it. Um, so I knew that was coming. She sent me some Canadian goodies and some chocolates, chocolate, hot chocolate. So I can't wait for that. And then y'all know, if you've been here a while, you know that I love Hand Dyed by Rolanda. Um, she sent me two pieces of Hand Dyed by Rolanda. They are uh, opalescent and she, uh, Heather said that she didn't think she'd be working with them. Look at this piece right here. Look at that piece, isn't that gorgeous? I don't know what I'm gonna make on it, but oh my gosh. Isn't it? You see, can you guys see the, oh, yep, there you can see the shimmer in that fabric. Isn't that pretty? Um, Rolanda, hand dyed by Rolanda, she doesn't put a name on a lot of her fabric. Let me put this back. This is a 32 count, and it just says uh, Lugana Opal. And then... Look at this one. Um, so this is also a linen. This is a 36 count linen, opulescent, opulescent. Look at this. Isn't that pretty too? I don't know if you can see the, this side shows the greens a little bit more. Can you see those greens? Probably not. Not really. So really 
really pretty and you, you can see the opalescent right there so thank you so very much heather that's all i have to show you um went on our cruise had a good time um went on a country music cruise if you ever get to see uh, Neil McCoy, if you like country music, especially older country music, if you ever get to see Neil McCoy in concert, he is a hoot and a half. You need to go see him. He was just here in, in Tomball uh, the Sunday before we went on our cruise, so we actually just seen him twice this month. Um, but we had, a, we had a good time. Um, that's about it. Um, cruise was mainly the big thing I did have. If you were here earlier or last month, uh, I was having some problems. I had some testing done because we thought maybe something was going on with my heart, but my uh, heart tests all came back. They, uh, the doctor is the same cardiologist my husband goes to and, um, and he said my heart is the complete opposite of my husband's. My husband's family does not have a good cardiac history. Um, he said my heart is perfect. So whatever was happening to me just before Christmas wasn't heart related. So that's a good thing. Um, that's it. So um, it's been rainy. It's, you know, it's Texas um, and it's 60 outside and it's Sunday, sunny. But yesterday uh, it's rained it rained quite a bit so there's a little localized flooding um but otherwise it's february here so it'll either be nice or it'll be you know freezing you never know what the weather's going to be like in january and february here i don't have anything really going on my birthday weekend is this coming weekend um i was i had thought about going to see my son in Virginia, but with everything that was going on in January, testing and cruise and all, like, I probably won't go. Um, so I don't have anything planned. It's going to be a non-big deal. And Valentine's Day, at least here in the United States, is February 14th. So I hope you have a, um, a special little someone to spend the, um, the night with, you know, have some nice time with your your loved one. I think that's it. Um, new job is going. The new position at work is going good. I'm still getting used to the Monday through Friday, but it's starting to get better. Really, nothing, nothing that I can think of else going on. So, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. As you can see, um, it's only 24 minutes. Um, by the time I edit things and do all the editing, it probably only be 20 minutes, which is my normal short video. So I don't know, like I've been saying, I don't know when I'll see you guys again. Depends on how much stitching I get done. So instead of rambling, oh, as you notice, I don't have a cat attacking me. Um, I opened my door and said I'm going to do a video and Leah and Jack cat and dog they came running in the room with me and while I was setting things up Jack was all over the place and getting in things and then he went to the door and said he wanted to go back out to the living room so I put him out there Leah is she's been quiet she's just laying on the floor uh, there is a, a big old jealousy between Jack and Leah as to who's going to get closest to mommy or daddy they are very jealous of each other well, I'm going to let you go. So I hope you all have a good week or, you know, two weeks or whatever it is before I see y'all. All right. I'm going to leave you all alone so you can go on to your next video. Bye, guys.